Well, the shooting in Perry yesterday, it happened so quickly, but doctors and specialists offering trauma services are still working to treat and help the victims who were shot recover. Local 5's Connor O'Neill spoke with the medical director for trauma services at Iowa Methodist Medical Center about what it's like inside a hospital in casualty events like Thursday's uh, school shooting in Perry. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, Dr. Polias told me earlier today that um, he's had a chance to reflect on everything, but it's been really difficult for his entire staff. Again, as, as we have the opportunity to understand what all happened and process the information, it becomes um, um, the reality starts setting in and emotionally uh, more difficult. Not just me, but for the entire team. Dr. Pelias said he's never dealt with a mass shooting event like this. The closest thing trauma services have responded to are fatal car crashes. It's hard. Uh, it's it's it emotionally has become uh, more and more difficult uh, as the hours go by. For hours after the first call came into the hospital shortly after 8 Thursday morning, Dr. Pelias' team implemented their mass casualty plan. With the strategy, their first priority was to stop the patient's bleeding. After that, a team of surgeons and nurses worked to address removing the bullets. We practice and we do it over and over and over. So uh, when these events happen, as I said, we were ready and prepared. There were five victims from Thursday's school shooting transported to Des Moines and Iowa Methodist Medical Center received three of them, all males, for treatment. However, Dr. Pelias said his trauma services team were ready and prepared for the worst. Uh, the reason why this is different is because you really don't know how many casualties you're going to have. So you have to prepare for three, five, ten, twenty, uh, and you have to make sure that you have all the resources and the teams available to care for a large amount of patients. Now, as for the conditions of the three victims that came into their care, I have an update for you guys. Now, the first victim, the Perry High School's principal, had immediate surgery on his multiple gunshot wounds. He's in the ICU and in critical condition. Now, for the second victim, a minor male underwent surgery on his multiple gunshot wounds and is currently in the ICU as well and in stable condition. Now, for the third, also a minor and male, arrived with superficial wounds and has since been discharged back home to his parents. Stephanie. Connor, thank you so much.